Hello everybody, I'm Dave Chaos and welcome to the review. Today we're going to be checking out the Mad Cats Rat TE. So this is a new one from Mad Cats. Whoops, falling out the box already. Um, it's got the iconic look that they always have with their mice, which I really like. And very similar to um, one that I reviewed recently, one of their uh, wireless types. But uh, this is a wired one, so let's get out of the box and have a look. Alright, so here it is. Um, as always, we'll start with the box. So we've got uh, straight away 8,200 DPI right there, and uh, all the other details are right here. So let's have a quick look at what it says on the box. Without going into too much detail, we've got uh, four different DPI levels, a DPI range of 100 to 8,200, uh, a 50G acceleration. So that means how fast you can move it around uh, your mouse mount without like losing your cursor or it going funny or squirrely or whatever uh it weighs only 90 grams so it's a pretty nice weight pretty light and uh, we've got a few different led colors on there that they've put on so let's get this out of the box and have a look okay so oh lovely packaging as always with the mad caps products we just pull out i think it needs to come out that way actually so it's a little bit funny because you take these weird shapes it doesn't come out one way <laughs> uh, i've already broken the seals on this just so i can get it out Got a nice, lovely packaging there. I always like the Mad Cat's packaging. Like, it's uh, protected on the inside and everything. So, here is the mouse. It is a wired mouse. Like I was saying at the intro of this video, uh, it's very similar to all the other mice they do. Uh, in particular, they've got a wireless one that this looks just like it. It's not entirely like it, but pretty close. Uh, and we've also got a few bits and bobs, which you always, always get. So, let's quickly pull this open and see what you actually get sure away we can see some stickers there i think pretty much every gaming product that we see <laughs> has uh stickers so if you want to stick them on your your wall or whatever uh, then you've got your warranty guide which is always important um, and then we've got your quick start guide so we just turn this around here and uh it's pretty simple it's got all your information about the software and um, all the different buttons on the mouse and things like that so that's cool always good we're going to have a look at the software for this mouse as well why not because uh it does have a lot to uh, to change let's take a close look at this mouse so here it is it's iconic design as always i love the my cat's mice they look they just look so i don't know they just look really good i like the look of them um we've got a nice surface here it's a matte black and it's been rubberized all over with the accents of blue i think it works really well the black and blue and um, this light blue it looks really good. There's nine programmable buttons on here all together. Um, so we'll start a look at those buttons. As always with these kind of mice, it's got what I like to call the sniper button. Uh, this is basically a quick DPI change button. So you can set that with the software. Um, and what it means is you'll have your regular DPI when you use your mouse gaming, doing whatever. And when you press this button during a game, uh, as long as you're holding it, the DPI will change to a lower DPI um, you know, depending on what you've set it in the software. And it's really good for taking those aimed shots or sniper shots, as I like to call them. Or you can use it for anything else, like precision drawing in software and stuff like that. It's always good. you got your forward and backward right there, which is your default on web browsing. But again, you know, you can program to that, to whatever you like. And uh, then we've got some indicator lights here. And unfortunately, I don't have a power supply in my little review area, so I can't plug it in until later. But these would indicate the different levels of DPI, these, and they, they light up in red. Uh, so let's have a look at the top side now. So I want to talk about this mode. So these three different modes, uh, kind of like profiles. So when we look at the software later, I'll show you. Uh, you can only have one profile, but the one profile can have three modes. So that's how that works. And uh, there's a little light indicator on here when you press that button to tell you which mode you're on. I think it's red... Um, green and purple no red blue and purple i believe um and that just indicates different modes we'll have a look at that in the software later you've got your regular mouse clicks again you know you can if you really wanted to you can buy them to something different uh your mouse scroll the wheel which has also got the central click 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 there you go uh, and then you've got this dpi up and down which you can do on the fly so you can change um you can set the settings of this but there's only a few different ones and again there's a, a led indicator for that and then there it is uh, different models have a volume control just here but this one doesn't it's uh, it's gone uh, and then we've got an adjustable thing so these are all adjustable that's adjustable and this is adjustable 
uh, as you can see, and so is this rear end here. And the way this works is there's a little little catch just here, you see that? So you press that and then you can pull it out and there you go, straight away the mouse is ever so slightly bigger than it used to be, which is really good, I love that feature, because I have quite a long hand, um, so for me, that's, uh, let me just get that, there you go, so for me that's really good, I can adjust it really nice and long. Now this is, I would say, mostly designed for a, a claw grip kind of user, with it being so small, this little panel here is quite small, so, you know, if you're a claw grip, you can have no issues with this. And uh, for the palm users, you know, you could adjust it, you could get used to it if you bring out the rear end a little bit, like a couple of clicks like that. Um, no, it's, do you know what? I think I'm going to retract my statement. I think this will do perfectly fine for you, both of you, really. Uh, claw grip and palm grip. If you use this, it feels quite good. I like the feel of it. Um, again, it's, it's similar to the other Mad Cats, and uh, I just love that you can adjust it like that. So on the underside, Nothing much to look at. You've got a few glide pads here. There's one just here as well, so that's not dragging about on your desk. This is the uh, your little thumb rest. Yeah, really nice. I love these little thumb rests on mice. They're really cool. And then under there is your sensor, which, again, like I say, it's uh, a maximum of 8,200 DPI, which is pretty much industry standard, you know, for these kind of mice. And, and there we go. That's it. So let's plug it in, check out the software. <laughs> So we'll start with um, making your profiles. You see this little arrow on the left-hand side. You click that, and you get one profile, the Mad Cat's defaults, um, but you can create new profiles just by clicking that button, and you end up with these untitleds. So if we take the first untitled, and you can either click this little arrow, or you can just right-click it. Right-clicking it is more natural, I guess. <laughs> um, and then you can just change, like... Um, set as default, apply, reset, rename, all that sort of stuff. So we can rename it to Dave1 and then hit enter. There we go. So that's that's the profile that we're creating. So like I said earlier, you only have one profile, but there's different modes for that profile. So we can close that little thing there. And you see at the top here, it says mode one, and then you've got mode two, mode three. So if we go to mode two, that's the different profile. So we'll make some changes on mode one. So let's have a look at these different things. There's like a whole bunch of preset stuff you can do. And you notice we've got all these little squares. Um, I love this. This is really good. Nice and simple. What you can do is you can say, right, I want the uh, up arrow on the side to be my cut. So you drag and drop that into there. So that will now be assigned to cut. You click apply and that is it. It's done. So that button, whenever you press that button there on the mouse, will do a cut. That's awesome, I love that. It's so simple. Um, so let's say we wanted uh, the mouse roll wheel to do back when you roll it up and say uh, forward when you roll it back and then, I don't know, maximize window when you click it down in the middle. So there we go, we've got a few different things there that we've just set up with these presets. There's a whole bunch of presets there for you. Uh, and then Right, we want something different on mode 2. So you just flick it over to mode 2, and then it's blank again, but obviously you've got all that stuff on mode 1. So it works like profiles, but you can have multiple profiles with multiple modes. So it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, there isn't a button for setting different profiles. You will have to select the profiles with the software, but not too much of a massive problem. I still like this system. So let's go on to uh, the different stuff you can do. As you can see, there's a few different tabs here. We've got keys, so then you can assign keys to all the different buttons. We've got all those there. And then we've got custom, which you can create your custom commands. So if we just click the button, and we can name this, I don't know, um, shooting, something stupid like that. And then we can go one, two, three, four, five, and and then OK that. And then it's created your little uh, custom macro, basically, that's what it is. And you just drag and drop that onto there. So that's now shooting, if you want it to be. And just hit apply. And then you've applied that to your mode one. And obviously you go to mode two, do all that sort of business on there. And, and there you go. So it, like I say, again, you know, it's just like profiles. One profile has three modes, so that's the way it works. Now let's move on to the settings. We've got mouse response here, so different DPI levels. Like I was saying, when you press uh, the DPI change on the top, you can select all the different DPIs. So if you want your uh, low DPI to be something other than 800, you can just drag that around. So if you wanted your low DPI to be 250, for example, uh, you just drag that. 
and then when you click again it would change to 1600 this is the button on the top next to the scroll wheel that I'm talking about and, and so on and so forth so that's how you do that uh, but you know the defaults are fine so if you just click reset number one is back to 800 again then we've got the DPI switch you can have it on or off if you switch it off you can then bind that switch to different keys uh, of course when it's on it's for that mouse response DPI then you've got your precision aim so you can change this so if I actually um, this is me moving the mouse normally now and if I press that button now you see how much difference it is I'm actually moving the mouse quite a lot across my my uh, mouse mat there and then as soon as I let go you can see how it just jumps so you can change that uh, here to your liking so however um, like sniperish you want that I guess <laughs> you've got power consumption levels uh, basically if you're using it on a laptop you can adjust the power consumption level on there which is kind of nice you know less harsh on your laptop if you're uh, out and about and not got a power source uh, then you've got lift off height so this is kind of interesting uh, if I know certainly for me when I'm gaming um, I tend to pick up my mouse a lot. Now this is an extremely light mouse as well, so uh, you can have a, a, a one millimeter lift off height, which is pretty good. That means it'll still sensor quite normally uh, when you lift the mouse off the mat and you're moving it to, I don't know, turn around or something like that. So that's a nice little thing. Uh, you can change the sensitivity there of the lift off height. And then you've got sensor dampening as well, uh, which is kind of handy. Uh, other things you've got is uh, Windows mouse settings. If you, whatever reason you need to bring up your Windows mouse settings, you can edit those straight from it within the, the software. I reset everything to defaults. And then last but not least is the support tab. And this is where you've got some tutorials, uh, the programming manual, a quick start guide, and a whole load of different bits of stuff like updating the software and things like that. Um, and just to add as well that my cats will be updating the firmware for this mouse with it being so new they'll have some firmware updates for it so if you do get one of these make sure you keep on top of that and then finally we've got some links to their social media so there we go fantastic nice and simple just the way we like it so there we go uh, a really nice little mouse i've been really impressed by this i'll just show you the the buttons as well while, while it's plugged in because i'm right next to the computer um was the dpi change right there can you see that uh, there's one light lit up so when you press this button on the top to change dpi you've got two lights lit up three lights four lights and then that's it and then you go back down again like so and there you go and uh, the the mode button here I was telling you about so you've got a red one you press it again and it's blue I was right blue and you press it again and it turns purple so those are your mode lights very nice it's really simple really easy to use the software in particular was straightforward I mean we've done reviews in the past where the software is like a nightmare <laughs> to use and this was super super simple I love the fact that you've got these nice big in your face squares that does that drag and drop done so um, for this mouse I've been very impressed by it uh, I can't fault it on anything at all my cats you know as always of of I've done a really good product so I'm gonna give this um, a Hardware Heaven Gold Award so yeah there we go I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time bye